What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next battle one on one duel Minos versus Nodens on the test server. First with lasers, right now, machine guns later in the 146 mark, and then we're rocking uh, the shotguns at the last testing, okay? With Rider Gaming here, I was in this uh, Springfield one on one situation on the test server, and we wanted to find out how good is the Minos compared to the Nodens in a one on one battle. The Minos has the reflector and the Nodens has the suppressor, right? So the, the suppression, they both have something to deactivate the enemy's firepower against them pretty much. And that's exactly what we're going to test and find out right here. First again, it's the lasers right now. And if you want to see the other videos, here he just suppressed me and I opened my reflector. So we're both doing smaller damage to each other at this point, but I'm somehow still coming out on top, right? So with the reflector down, I'm corner shooting a little bit, and I'm just gonna reload and retreat, get get my reflector back and try and have another battle against him after that, right? And uh, if you want to see the other videos, Arthur versus Minos, Ao Ming versus Minos, Kit versus Minos, check out in the top right corner or, you know, basically subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. That gets you notified whenever all any of these videos make their appearance live. We have already lost a weapon, the Nodens on only lost a weapon just now. At this low health bar, the Nodens lost a weapon. We already lost a weapon way over uh, this much health because the Minos somehow loses weapons all the time. Um, like faster than any other robot uh, uh, Titan does somehow. I don't understand why. But yeah, so that was the first one with Cyclone. We won against uh, the Nodens. Let's see how it keeps going from this point on. In the Arthur battle, we didn't win all, and in the Mi uh, in the Ao Ming, we didn't win all, right? So um, are we gonna win all battles in uh, in the Minos battle? This is, by the way, how we did it. You saw it for a second. We were just capping beacons until the Titans were ready, and then we went uh, into this one-on-one. -on -one. And again, if you haven't yet subscribed, guys, would be awesome if you could do this. I'd pray greatly appreciate it. Well, look, you welcome you aboard. He just suppressed me. I'm trying to dodge a bit of his firepower, and then when I really need it, open the reflector uh, to make sure that uh, all the firepower he now does is uh, negated as much as possible. And now I'm losing health a lot, very fast. Uh, but, um, you know, he was low on health already. Thankfully, the machine guns have enough firepower to kill him in one go. So, again, machine guns did great. It's somehow, I don't know why, but the machine guns are doing so well on the Minos. Like, no matter which episode we do, no matter which test and which enemy we put in, the machine guns do best all the time. It's like so crazy. All right, so shotguns now. What do you think, guys? Shotguns, who's gonna win? My bet is on the Minos. What is yours? <laughs> Let's go and test. All right, I'm coming in here, corner shooting a little bit, and somehow Ryder got scared a little bit and he activated his suppression right now. And that was a, mi a bit of a mistake right there because I'm not, you know, I was like, okay, thanks. That is your suppression is gone now. Now I can come in, use my reflector, and just brawl the flip out of him. And um, without the suppression active on, on the Minos, it's an easy thing. But truth be told, even with the suppression ready, I'm very certain we would have won this no problem. It would have been closer, but it would still have been a win. So yeah, um, ladies and gents, we are gonna see something special now. You're gonna see how I shoot, in this match, how I shoot somebody 600 meters far with the charge ability of the Minos. Can you imagine? The charging of the Minos pushes away enemy robots, right? Now let's imagine how it looks like when I push somebody so hard he flies more than 600 meters far. Alright, we're gonna see this in this battle and take a look how I obliterate that strider. I don't know why he wants me so much. Oh, it's probably because I'm named just the Manny. <laughs> and this is why he's like, okay, I'm going for you. And uh, I just, he did not even do one point of damage, really. He just got absolutely del deleted from the game. And we're running the uh, fortifier module here on this, uh, on this bulwark. This is why my physical shields are stronger and the energy shield is stronger. And uh, I've already killed two robots in this in a one-on-one. -on -one. Now there's the third meta bot that I'm or right now. Okay, this is a meta bot, but the others may not have been. Um, and this is the third robot that I'm now destroying with this one bulwark. And they they don't stand a chance, man. They don't stand a chance. Not even the slightest one. So far, they haven't been able to do anything. So here comes this guy. He just suppressed me. I have the shield up. Now I'm doing some damage to him here, but unfortunately I cannot repair. This is the problem. See the sonic weapons? 
they do that all of my enemies had sonic weapons and so all the damage they have done I cannot repair any of it so I have the repair module and it doesn't do me one bit of good and my physical shoots are now broken so I'm actually gonna going down now finally after four enemies um, which brings me to another point uh, before I jump into the Minos and show you what I wanted to show you here which brings me to another point pick Sonic I think the uh, Sonic shotguns their ability can be to uh, negate repairs, but they should not deactivate it entirely. They shouldn't be so that the damage they do is 100% ir irreparable. It should be uh, a, a part of it, right? So that, you know, you can only repair 50% less of what you can usually repair when you get hit by the sonic shotguns. But not 100% of the damage done is irreparable. That is wrong. I think you should really look into this, Pixonic. This is too much. Having repair units or repairing robots be 100% worthless, not having the slightest use anymore, is wrong. Make it so that they go and do 50% negated repairability. I'm not. I'm using words of which I'm not even sure if those are words, but you you know what I mean. By the way, why did I lose all my shields on the shell robots at once? Look at this. All of them are there. Pop. All of them are gone at once. What the heck? Do the sonic shotguns somehow simultaneously hit all shields? Do they somehow have a splash damage? I guess they have. I guess they must have some kind of splash damage and they hit multiple objects at the same time. Of course he also did the flamethrowers with his built-in flamethrower, but that one would not have done, done as much damage needed so quickly to break all these shields immediately. So that's weird. By the way, um, in the next episode, or in one of those uh, gameplay test episodes with the Minos versus the Kit, um, I will show you a separate video where, where I run the shell robot and I let an enemy Minos Titan fire into my shell robot and I turn around the shell robot and I like get like nice tanning from all sides and I wait for him to break all shields. So I'm literally just have this guy shoot me the whole time with his lasers on the Minos Titan and I'm standing there with, a, with an uh, shell robot and I just turn sideways and let him break all those 8 or 12 shields on this robot one after another until, I, until all shields are broken and it took him forever to do this. Uh, so this is something that will come up in, in the in the Kid versus Minos um, Titan cam comparison gameplay episode. Okay, so stay tuned for this. And uh, again, if you haven't yet subscribed, ladies and gentlemen, consider doing this right here. I think it pays off. I would. I'd like to think so. <laughs> All right. So very, we're getting very close to the Minos action. Unfortunately, I didn't spawn the Minos sooner. I guess I could have. I could have spawned the Minos sooner right now for example and did more with it um but it's not like we hadn't seen some minos gameplay in this video right and uh, i'm just having some fun here i saw that this guy would teleport back and i'm just okay let's go and take him down then there you go buddy took down the entire scorpion focused him completely out of the match because this guy already used his teleport so there was nothing he could do to avoid getting killed at this at this point I don't know what this guy's shooting at, but it's not hitting anybody. Um, whereas, though, the shotguns on our Titan can hit the other dude. So, this- Oh, no, this is a Titan! I thought that may have been just a normal robot. Ow! Ow, 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 I'm even getting suppressed by him. Alright. Okay. Music is too loud. So, you know what we do, ladies and gents? We jump into that Minos, and as I promised, I'll show you this situation <laughs> where I- where I basically just shoot somebody in an, into another dimension um, with, a, with a charge ability. So first we're battling two on one. <laughs> Look who's stalker. <laughs> this is funny. This guy is called Look who's stalker. Which is a, an homage and onto my uh, battle rec account name where I am look who's stalking. And then I'm just the Manny here in this case. So it looks like we're two Mannies right there. Um, but so yeah, we, we just two on one the heck out of this Minos. He, hadn't, he didn't have the slightest chance. So now I'm running over here, capturing the beacon because I have to, because the enemy is currently having some more beacons than we do, and I don't want to lose this match despite this being a test server. And here comes the two, two, uh, um, you know, two enemies right there. You see them here, um, and one of them is an Aochun, one of them is a Ravana, and the Aochun is now flying in, and I'm using the charge ability. Look, and I'm shooting him away. He's still in the air flying, and you see him flying away, and I will check how far he flew. Let's let's check this. Look, 
Look, he landed 630 meters away from us. I shot this guy who just ended his flight. I shot him 630 meters far with a charge ability. He literally flew into another dimension and, and he was way farther away there without his flight ready. So that is it's super funny in my opinion, guys. Let's jump into one last part on the test server, a public match where I uh, just had some fun with the with a shell titan. And uh, I, why do I always say titan? Shell titan. It's not a titan. It's just a robot. And I had some fun with a flamethrower. And look at this. Look at this guy down there with his um, with his scorpion. He's trying to teleport back and fool me, but I know where he teleported from. So he's now starting to teleport, right? And I just in the immediately turn over to him where he pops out and Insta gets killed. And that he, he felt like he was being aimed at by an aimbot right there. <laughs> that is cool. We're also going to hit two enemies at the same time with the explosion in a second. Give me a sec, guys. Here comes an Ares and uh, a Blitz robot and an, uh, a Loki too. I'm opening here the explosion, doing some damage to this guy. Boom! This guy down, this guy down to last, then I hit them both so well. But unfortunately, all my shields are gone. With the shields active, I could survive this no problem. But since the shields are gone, oh well. And then the match was all, was not over yet, but we, we capped all the beacons. So we won this match way too quickly. And the only thing I was able to do before the match ended was empty my magazine clip just once here on the enemy, um, our, our Ming right there. He doesn't stand much of a chance because my reflector is going and he can't do any damage right there. And see again, why is the machine gun so good on the Minos? I can't, I just don't understand. It's so crazy. But yeah, so this is the damage we done. This is the match and uh, the Nodens versus the Titan Minos. Hopefully you had some fun watching. Tell me if you did. Tell me what you think in the comments. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Money signing off. Bye-bye.